social justice warrior from America, a streamer who's uh, in Australia at the moment. Like, we don't have enough lefties losing it already here. <laughs> what is happening? How is this? How is this real news coverage, bro? Bro! Bro! What? going on bro i mean this is kind of sick dude i'll be honest this kind of this kind of went hard i'm excited this is awesome i had a great time overall lefty's losing it wait is this for real oh my god oh my god this is real oh my god oh my god oh my god it's like actually news now oh my god lefty's losing it boycott cow bro this has half a million views what is going on dude this is pretty awesome i mean i think it's cool we're in mainstream media is this april fools like what the murdochs are gonna get you sky news au is basically fox don't read the comments um how did this happen i didn't even realize that this was like dude i i can't be offline at all like when i'm offline it just doesn't I, I, every time i go offline and i don't like I, now that i don't have twitter on my phone i'm just like completely oblivious to all this that's happening um sky news is owned by murdoch anyway um what is happening here there's like drama about i'm never doing an IRL stream again bro we can't have any fun and make jokes about your coke zero hobbits goddamn sorry you're being called a sjw left slur yeah i know it's up um i didn't even realize that this was like an actual thing that was happening okay no more jokes we are literally not allowed the joke we are not ever allowed the joke we're not allowed to be sarcastic everybody knows leftists can't be sarcastic Leftists can't joke around. Leftists can't react to other leftists who come up to them uh, and, and yell at them about their Coke drinking habits. Um, it's so funny that like just this random aside that I didn't even think about more than for more than a second turned into this like massive thing. What is happening in the world? Do people just not have any content? Like children are being melted in Gaza. You know what I mean? I feel like this is infinitely more important than just like one random person being like why are you drinking a cow zero i don't do it <laughs> your response was hilarious about is pepsi okay yeah i was having fun with it like i wasn't taking it seriously so i just don't understand why people are losing their minds you got the big four live hate tweeting your streams bro they're gonna blow up anything at this point that's pretty funny i my my favorite thing is when people react to that sort of thing and go um yeah this is the community he's cultivated he deserves it and it's like well i'm in the process of just like you know laughing it off so that should cause you to understand that like it's not the community i've cultivated you know what i mean it's like something i've talked about quite a bit but it doesn't really matter but regardless all of sky news australia videos is like one to two k views yours is at half a mil yeah that's awesome one individual anecdote equals all of azan's audience yeah um anyway that's crazy that i got clip chimped by f sky news you know what i mean like and what i mean in this circumstance is like this is not reflective of the entire community at all. This is not reflective of my perspective at all. Um, but they're they're cloud chasing my ass. All right, we'll we'll cover all this. Academics posted a clip of 500k views. Sky News short form producer is about to beco become a part of the Hasanami Clips industrial complex. It's always weird when I like when when I because I don't have Twitter on my phone and it, because I'm like you know I didn't have internet for the past 15 hours on the flight. I just have no clue about what's popping off. I'm having my, I'm living my life. I'm, I'm living a normal life basically. And then I go live and then I am getting all of this like incredibly weird thrown in my face. I feel bad for the woman. She didn't say anything to deserve to be blasted like this. Neither does on, of course. Yeah, it is kind of funny. How about you to stop being weirdos IRL? Dude, it's like a one-off dude. It's like, well, one second moment. We had a normal interaction before that with her. Like everyone that's like making a bigger deal out of it is so stupid. Who gives a Yeah, she was being a little crazy she's being a little out there okay being cringe is not a crime okay everybody everybody needs to dial it back a thousand steps if you're looking at that and you're like oh she embarrassed she embarrassed this community it's like it's not even that bad you're being manipulated into thinking that it was a much larger issue as a consequence it's like literally not even a thing that i thought about after this interaction you know what i mean it was like a one second interaction that I never even put any thought into it beyond that interaction. And and I think she's just, I mean, obviously, like, she was joking. That clip got framed weird by William Mack on Twitter, quote tweeted by Rihanna Wu, retweeted by Drew Paolo, Miles Chong. So you can see where it went after that. Yeah, I just, like, yeah, I don't know. It, it also doesn't even, it doesn't also make me out to look bad at all. So I don't know why, like, uh, I, I don't know why people are just, like, so upset about it. Like, people acting as if all fan interactions were not cringe, just normal people being normal out there. Yeah, 
I think your haters are getting angry. They can't reach you, so they're attacking your fans. Yeah, pretty much. Canary Mission picked up the Coke Zero story on Instagram too. Yeah, the funniest part about it is that like, one, as far as I understand, Coca-Cola is not even on the official BDS, uh, uh, you know, the official BDS list. Uh, that's number one. Number two, uh, number two, like I am deeply and undesirably addicted to Coca-Cola. Not Coke Zero, by the way. I don't even f with Coke Zero, which is the worst part about this. I don't f with Coke Zero. Okay, I'm a Diet Coke Andy all day, every day. I love DC. I f go hard for DC. Okay, I'm a DC boy till the day I die. You have McDonald's on your cheeks. I did. And then they put like uh, the anti McDonald's uh, boycott McDonald's stickers on there, which was cool and fun. I respect your position, but fundamentally disagree. Are you upset with Coke because of their partnership with McDonald's? Wait, what? Why does this keep happening? It's just like a completely random aside, like a moment that I haven't even thought about after the interaction is done and over, uh, turning into a thing, a quote unquote thing, a big deal, it seems. Now, Originally, I was going to say it's not even that big of a deal. It just like went viral on Twitter, but it turns out they're covering it on their news. It's honestly a perfect reflection of the left has gone too far crowd. They find some random outlier, not even doing anything crazy and make it worse than it ever happened. It's very odd. Chinese proverb, bad news travels a thousand miles while good news doesn't even leave the front door. Um, they act like she came up to you with a weapon and assaulted you for Coke Zero. Yeah, I don't, I don't get why like people are dunking on her. I mean, I guess I kind of get why people are dunking on her because she does come across like a quote unquote SJW. But I also don't understand, like, my reaction was pretty normal. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't want to, like, get into a debate on camera. You know what I mean? I just didn't want to be like, yeah, I don't think Diet Coke is on the official, like, BDS list or anything like that. Um, and, and, you know. And I would much rather have my fans come up to me and be like, hey, don't drink Coke Zero. And maybe be a little bit overzealous than, like, come up to me and be dickheads you know what i mean so yeah if that's the biggest if that's the biggest problem with my fan interactions then yeah we're we're doing all right we're doing great as a community uh, honestly i said is pepsi okay i know here we can watch it i guess here we'll talk about the turkish election as well don't worry all right we're gonna get there here it is now to a dude called hassan who is uh, some sort of now to a dude what do you mean who would wait wait, wait. you can't be a real news person and say something like now to a dude a dude called azan <laughs> australia is shocked that names that aren't like like what do you mean it's just it's not like this is not a uh like a like a nickname this is just my name a dude called azan social justice warrior from america a streamer who's uh in australia at the moment like we don't have enough lefties losing it already here <laughs> what is happening how is this how is this real news coverage, bro? Bro, bro, what the f is going on, bro? The, I mean, this is kind of sick, this, dude. I'll be honest, this kind of this kind of went hard. I'm excited. This is awesome. Oh, these guys are f clowns, dude. <laughs> oh no, is this a f when it, when someone sent me this clip? I thought it was a joke. Like I thought it was like a. F April Fool's joke, dude. Sky News Australia left these losing it. This lady is deranged on Twitter. He attended a pro-Palestinian protest, but while there, some of his fans were not happy with him because he was drinking Coke Zero. He wasn't being sufficiently anti-Israel. Have a look. I'm sorry, I forgot really to say you need to stop drinking Coke Zero Three, on stream. Why? It's boycott. Wait, is it? You're uh, preaching pro-Palestine and you're uh, drinking all this boycott stuff. So please, Thank you. <laughs> at least pretend. Do it off stream. Uh, okay, I'll put, it in, I'll put it in a glass. <laughs> I'm like very clearly laughing. Like, why would they? Is everyone becoming more autistic? A, a serious question. Is everyone becoming more autistic in general? Like, do we just not understand like normal human interactions that are occurring in the real world? We just have no way of like reading it. Do I have to do like e emotes in real life now is that what i have to do i have to go slash s or slash jk after i make a statement how did this happen it's a it's like a weird willfully autistic behavior law yeah it's just so odd and i think she was joking as well like i don't think she was being super serious about this but i do think that like being online i saw someone saying hassan nearly in tears as a fan scolds him 
get in tears laughing like it was a it was a relatively weird interaction you know what i mean it was like a kind of a weird interaction because like i'm sure she's like she was perfectly normal beforehand she was great i guess like it's so perfect because she says at least pretend do it off stream smart to wear sunglasses so we can't see the tears in your eyes as you frown <laughs> is pepsi okay no, is it no. <laughs> It's so Australian. This I love this interaction, dude. <laughs> no. Hey guys, can you stop talking about the other actually weird interactions on stream? Do you want to? Do you work for the anti Hassan Clips Industrial Complex? By the way, like, there's a reason why I'm not bringing that shit up. Okay. Overall, it's a perfectly f normal stream. Okay. My fans are my biggest haters. I feel like shut the up, please. I mean, you see what is going on here. She's wearing the tough shirt you wear before. That's my merch. She's wearing my merch. Okay. No soda, I didn't know. I didn't know it was like that. <laughs> I'm trying to stop him. He's an animal. <laughs> yes. That's yeah. Uh, Alexa, I try to stop him. He's an animal. Like, we're obviously joking. Why are these people? Why are these people so crazy? She's also smiling, too. <laughs> it's like, a, what is happening? Why? Why is this like? A, why is this like a like a real issue? Like, what? Uh, people are so crazy. They need to be, f they need to be normal. Is she joking? I can't tell, but ultimately it doesn't matter. This Aussie dumbass Philly for April Fool's Bay. We're not, we're not giving more clout to that. Okay. We're not giving more clout to Australian Ian Miles Chong. Uh, Alexa is right. He just, he wants us so bad and he only gets it when I, and my dumbass community interacts with him. So I just, I don't want to do that. All right, let's continue. Son, at least pretend. Drink it off stream. And no, Pepsi is not okay. Now to this young lady, lady, or I don't know, she identifies as all the pronouns. <laughs> what is happening? How is this news coverage? Bro, this is literally... Dude, this is like Fox News times 10. Andrew Clannell is the least insane from Sky News. All the men are libertarians with Asian wives. Lady, you are way more hysterical than she ever was. You know what I mean? Like, what? Dude, I feel like AU commentators want to be Fox so bad. I just don't believe her. He, she, they. This is M. Adams, an educator and a leader of a group called the... Wait, they pulled, they pulled the interview off this? Like, it was... This was so serious of a news story that they're like, we're now going to an expert on hysterical SJWs, mate. He's a lady. Like, what do you, do you pull like a, like a Reddit moderator for that? Like, how does this work? Or is it a different story? Movement for black lives. So as a non-dimension, my name is M. Adams. I use all gender pronouns said respectfully. Oh, they switch topics. Okay, then the rest of it is like what? Lefties losing it, Gaga Greens, BBC schooled. Oh, it's a different story. I hate how people create tabloids out of normal interactions you have. Australian news, especially I was like Sky are absolute jokes. It's all right wing garbage. All the non-political stud is absolutely hilarious. If you want to see Aussie news at its finest, look up Dirty Dumpers. Every day is a low content day for Australia. Yeah, I think the the funniest I think the funniest was um when that when that lady when that Zionist lady was like, "You think Hamas is running the country? Congratulations, Hamas is running the country." And I was like, "Yeah, dude, I'm a lesser evil voter." But obviously, that's what I personally think is like a fun interaction and uh, a million other like fun interactions that we had during the stream. But that's not gonna make the headlines. You know what I mean? You can copyright strike the news, become the evil streamer Reddit thinks you are. Now on a this is awesome. Did you see she tried to narc on you to the cops after who? Oh, she did? Oh, what? Wait, wait what? What's she going <laughs> to? What are the cops going to do? Arrest me for saying I'm a lesser evil voter. That's why I'm voting for Hamas. Australia. All the right wingers are like, uh, comedy is illegal. And then they turn around. Oh, here. Here it was. Here it was. Hold on. Let's I'm glad that you have First of all, she doesn't even know what I advocate for. I just have a Chromeo Lebanon t-shirt on, but I guess I'm taking a photo with a fan wearing the kafia. So she's like, yeah, you're advocating for Hamas. By being a massive person who doesn't fit their <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So looking forward to the most coming to power. I'm glad that yeah. you're advocating. With me? Yeah. Wait, see? Yeah, yeah. Hamas is the lesser evil? I mean, yeah, I think I'm good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she did talk to the cops after. I didn't even I didn't even recognize that. By the way, the Melbourne students you hung out with are awesome, amazing organizers. Dana and Nabil are inspirational. Yeah, dude, I the all the people that I met on this rally uh, stream was awesome. They were incredible. Um Melbourne goes 
hard, by the way. There was an 11-year-old who literally was like, Palestinians have a right to defend themselves by bombing Israel. I was like, crazy. I've, I, I was shocked at how, like, openly uh, uh, they defended uh, Palestinians. Like, how openly they were being like, no, the unconditional support, like, to Palestine. They kill less children. Hamas kill less children than Israel. They're the lesser evil. I'm a lesser evil voter. I'm a liberal. I'm bad with, like, Salvies. <laughs> the stream was great. Sorry for bringing up specific odd interactions. Yeah, I don't know about that low key. You don't know about what? Me being a lesser evil voter? Uh, I will defend it. Yeah, the Smirnoff and Marlboro Reds fan was the most American Aussie ever. Yeah, it was pretty crazy that they were like, that dude was just like, yeah, I don't give a fuck about Palestine. Most protests are like that. In LA, Yemen, Yemen, make us proud. Turn that ship around is another common chat. How do you keep your composure in situations like that? You just have fun with it. Bro, you make people lose sleep over what you say and do. How does that make you feel? Um like nothing uh i don't know yeah you just have to be chill like you'll see i mean you see my normal interactions in the real world it's like very different than uh it's very different than online because like most people conduct themselves differently in the real world than they do online i i love doing IRL streams i love meeting the fans i i think those streams are awesome this stream was great overall